So Fortune's Keep is here and you want to do better. Dominate even. Today we're running down a few tips on how to best dominate in Warzone's newest reintroduction of Fortune's Keep. So drop your thoughts, drop a like, and subscribe for more tips as well as all Fortune's Keep, Warzone, Modern Warfare 3, and FPS coverage here on the channel. I'd love to have in the community. Finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel for up to 30% off your entire order, but more on them a little later. For now, let's get into it. Firstly, we can start with stuff before you even jump into a game, or rather, drop into Fortune's Keep. Number one, have your settings in order. Movement Kings are going to be out in abundance here with Fortune's Keep and Rebirth upcoming. You've probably seen it already, but if you want to improve on your movement and things like that, one thing that I'd highly recommend is your settings with your slide or dive behavior. Personally, I use tap to slide. That makes those slide cancels real smooth and crispy, but the new hybrid option is there and a valid thing for consideration, absolutely. Personally, I don't need a dive, so I'm good with removing the bind entirely so that if I do accidentally hit my left thumbstick at the same time as trying to slide, I don't dive where I don't want to. But if you guys like having that option, this is a new way that allows you to tap to slide without having that sort of input delay by a few milliseconds previously that you'd have, but also giving you the opportunity to do both slide and diving. Other settings you should have down and check are your sensitivity. Obviously, that's one that's a bit more subjective. I can't really give you a, this is the perfect sensitivity because it's all user dependent. What feels comfortable for you may not feel comfortable for me or another player. Adjust that F OV, make sure you're all good. But again, we've touched on that stuff plenty of time. So just breezing past that, just really want to make sure we touched on the new setting here of hybrid. For gameplay tips though, dropping into Fortune's Keep, well, where should you drop? That's something that I think is, again, user dependent. There's definitely some high risk, high reward areas around the map and some that are a little bit more passive. I think we all kind of eventually gravitate towards our own locations. Verdansk, it was Superstore for me. Rebirth, it was the headquarters building. Fortune's Keep back in the day was the upper portions of the grotto. Ashika, it was town center or residential. Vondel, it was usually mall. But with this one, my team's usually going around terraces and gatehouse. I'd say that Ground Zero has some really high level loot as well. That's usually pretty contested though. Same thing with Keep. Also, there's still a bit of a bug with keep that you lose some frames in certain areas. So be conscious of that. But there's lots of space within Fortune's Keep, lots of areas that will feel familiar because we've played this before. But I think honestly, it comes down to if you want action or if you don't. It's not going to have as many sort of like safe spots per se, as opposed to the big map on Urzikstan. But I'd say from my own perspective, things like Overlook, Pier, the Coney Outpost, those are a little bit less contested here with this, but they also don't have some of the best loot yields by comparison, just because they're not as dense of locations. But one thing that you should consider is that if you do want to land in those hot zones, make sure you kill then loot. If you can find a gun, that's awesome, but don't necessarily try and prioritize, oh, I need to find a gun. If you need to take a gunfight, use that pistol to your advantage. Looting or trying to find that perfect gun can set you back and get you killed immediately. If you land down the corridor for someone, grab whatever you can, if anything at all, and at least be conscious, if not 100% ready for a fight. If you can kill and clear the area and then finish looting, then that's obviously perfect. Next, know the meta. Not to plug a prior video here, but we have already talked about our top picks for what I'd say are the best weapons to help you dominate. So check that out in detail, but if you're wanting to dominate, you probably want to use the best guns in the game. I know metas can get stale. Trust me, they absolutely do. It's why we don't really post them much here on the channel anymore as much, but it is absolutely something that can get boring. But statistically speaking, the best guns in the game are going to statistically yield the best results, right? So make sure you're keeping up with the best weapons that you want to use as of recording this. I'd probably say the B BP-50, the Ram 9, the AMR 9, the MTZ-762, WSP-9, Striker 9, all great choices. But again, we've already talked about that. Using any of those weapons, I think, will greatly help get you the kill potential in matches. But beyond that, make sure you're using verticality to your advantage. Just like Vondel, there is plenty of verticality here within Fortune's Keep. Obviously, you have Keep, that multi-tiered castle, but you also have things elsewhere like, well, just the towns and these sort of apartments or flats there. You also have Ground Zero, which is like three to four stories in elevation from the bottom of the bunkers to the very top of the hillside. You want to make sure you use that to your advantage, or if you're caught in low ground, make sure you have an escape route. That's one thing that I've been caught in the bottom of Ground Zero quite a few times, and there's like two to three teams fighting atop of us, and oftentimes they're going to try and look down and pick you off in all that chaos of all of it. So if you're a parkour fan, utilize some jump spots. This map is quite literally for you in that sense. The rooftops of town, great example for that. But if you have low ground, do what you can, run smokes to try and get out of those situations without taking too much fire and try and reposition to gain at least 
level advantage, if not, maybe even taking the advantage over your enemies. The verticality you absolutely have to be conscious of within Fortune's Keep. Additionally, play for and watch those rotations on each zone. I've had so many times where people just will not be paying attention to where they have to move for gas, and my team can just hold them while they're pushed in with gas. It's essentially free kills at that point, and it's some of the easiest engagements you'll take. But make sure that you're not getting caught in those situations where you're having to run in with the gas, because at that point, the script could be flipped. Obviously, you don't want that to happen. You want to make sure that you have an escape route, a way to get away, and not playing right into an enemy's hand. Additionally, utility on a map like Fortune's Keep, and same with Rebirth when it comes around, utility is going to be everything. Buy everything that you can, not like you'll bank cash afterwards each match or something, but buy UAVs, ammo, armor boxes, precision airstrikes. Honestly, I feel like mortar strikes did get a stealth buff here. Those are still very valid as well. So all insanely valuable items to any given situation during any given game. In Fortune's Keep, not only because you're getting more kills, you're picking up money off dead enemies. There's also a more condensed amount of loot in that smaller map here you're going to end up having cash. I feel like every time that I'm like, oh, I probably should buy something because I haven't bought something in a while. I'll look down at my cash and I'll be like, I, I could buy two to three UAVs right now. I thought I was maybe going to be struggling for one. You're usually going to have more money than you might expect. So bear that in mind. Use that to help you and your team out. And finally, the last kind of stuff that I want to touch on is some strategy and team play. I would highly recommend playing at least with one teammate. If Fortune's Keep is new to you, at least until you learn the map. But even if you're, say, like a master of the map, I always think that team play is very helpful. Having at least one set of eyes in addition to yours, upwards of three if you have a full squad of four, it just gives so much more useful information to work with. You can spot enemies, take them out, get trades on kills, finish kills, you name it. So playing with a teammate, highly recommend, of course, with Soul of Resurgence, though. It is nice that you don't have to if you don't have a squad to play with, but if you have the ability to, highly would recommend that. Additionally, if you are playing with other players, make sure you have clear comms. One of the things you'll notice if you listen to like any super high level player on stream, or something you'll notice outside of their ability to read flow and map direction and everything like that having good shots this likely they'll have clear comms with their teammates that they can make either things that like only them and their teammates would immediately recognize or just being able to precisely call out where somebody is that helps tremendously in those engagements the more specific the better it lets you immediately recognize situations and get as much information to help yourself or your teammates out as much as possible additionally don't engage unless you're ready to win a gunfight there's quite a few moments already on fortunes keep this happens every single time i jump into warzone with a new map that i get overzealous i get eager on taking some gunfights and everything like that but sometimes not shooting is the better play because yeah one player may be out there in the open you think you can kill but maybe their teammates are up in the spire that they're looking down on you. They have two to three players up there ready to just open fire and you lose that gunfight. Or one of the ones that I had recently that I probably shouldn't have engaged with, but I did anyway. I got out with my life, so it worked out, but I've had it happen so many times where it didn't, where I had the MTZ 7.62. It's a 30 round magazine. There were three players on top of the broken castle wall. And I was like, these guys all have their backs to me. I shot the one, downed him, shot and broke the other one. The third got away. He never really was a problem, but because I only had 30 rounds in my magazine, I was kind of shorthanded at that point because I had to switch to my SMG. Again, luckily I was able to draw them and reposition where I could take that close quarters gunfight as opposed to needing it be a long range gunfight for an MTZ 762 again, but just some of those engagements, just know when to take them and when not to. But all in all, I think that's a healthy number of tips here in regards to strategy play, your own gameplay, rotations and map knowledge and awareness, as well as other just basic things going into it that I think can make a world of a difference. So if you guys are looking to improve your game a little bit, try some of these out if you guys have not done so already and let me know how you do. But that said, that's what we're gonna call it. Before we wrap everything up, I wanna take a second to remind you that Code Espresso can get up to 30% off your entire order over G Fuel. To me, G Fuel is my cup of coffee in the morning, gets my day and productivity going, and I'm sure that there's a flavor out there if you want to try some. I'd personally recommend Pog Juice, Starfruit, Strawberry Banana, the Morbius Nectarine flavor, and a few others, but whether you want to try it out for the first time with a starter kit, where you can end up getting a few sample packs, plus a shaker cup, or you want to grab a tub, maybe a few, Code Espresso can net you a nice little discount if you're interested. Check the link in the description below if you'd like to learn more, and again, Code Espresso gets you up to 30% off. But that's it. That's going to wrap the video up. Drop your thoughts down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. You found it at Alonso and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all things Warzone, Fortune's Keep, Modern Warfare 3, X Defiant upcoming, and other FPS content. I'd love to have in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.